हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वी हैव सीन ऑलरेडी ब्रीफ समरी ऑफ एक्ट नंबर फर्स्ट एंड एक्ट नंबर सेकंड ऑफ द ट्रेड डिपार्चर बाय सतीश आलेकर वी हैव सीन ऑल्सो द कैरेक्टर्स इन द प्ले There are three principal characters: Bhavrao, Rama, and Nana. And there are few neighbors also in the chal. Chal means there is a small lane where people used to live in a multi-storied building. Different families are living there. so the neighbors are there but there are three major characters one is bhavrao who is a middle aged person middle class person who is dead at the very start of the play second is rama who is also an important character in the play the wife of bhavrao middle aged she is also middle aged woman good looking and attractive woman and the third important character is nana the only son of bhavra and rama a young sportsman then there are some few neighbors in the chal where the family lies they prepare for the cremation go to the crematory chat and make fun of one another in general they in a sense celebrate the death of bara means here is the celebration of death of bara they used to make fun of the situation or of one another just like it is a, a incident or event of celebration today we are going to see the story of this play in detail act wise summary or act wise story we are going to discuss in this video in act number 1 when the curtain goes up spectators see bhavra on bed covered over head he has covered the blanket over head and rama tries to wake him up but he is unwilling it is sunday on that day no need to get up and get ready not necessary to get up early in the morning and uh, be ready for regular duties because it is a sin day in spite of this the delay in waking is unacceptable for rama rama is trying to wake up her husband but he is still not awakening which is unacceptable because it is not happened throughout her life she calls him again and again and he just disregards her he neglects her finally he tells her that he cannot get up because he was watching his end bhavra tries to tell her truth that he is watching his death he is watching his end and that's why he cannot get up he tries to explain that 
he is dead and she is talking a dead man in many ways bhavro tries to tell her that he is already dead and she is talking with a dead person or her husband how can rama believe it it is impossible to believe on the situation for rama that her husband is dead finally bahara gets up arranges his bed as if someone is sleeping there and then stands behind rama after many efforts of rama bahara gets up finally arranges the bed as if someone is sleeping there still and then stands behind his wife rama of course does not uh, she does not see him because he is already dead she is unable to see him when he speaks to her she is baffled why she is baffled because she sees bhavrao is still in the bed and she hears his voice from behind she is seeing bhavrao in the bed and at the same time she hears bhavrao's sound behind herself so she baffled and shocked how is it possible the obvious question raised in her mind she tries to tickle him and never sees this very act from the window because window is open there rama tries to tickle bhavra in his stomach on the bed someone the neighbor who is passing from his house looked or peeped through the window and sees this romantic activity of rama with bhavra he is surprised by the romance at this age neighbor is surprised after seeing this activity and surprised also seeing their romance there means ramas and bhavra's romance in the bed rama acts as if she closes the window and returns to the bed rama tries to close the window because nobody would see him and rama and then returns to the bed after returning to the bed when she touches bhavra she shocked because his body is cold if you have experienced such situation and if you touch the body of a dead person you will come to know that the body of the dead person is always cool and cold so she became aware of the situation that bhavra is really dead because his body is cold she flops down and cries loudly finally she came to know that bhavra her husband is dead and she falls down from the bed and cries loudly a neighbor hears her wailing and declares loudly and happily loudly and happily after seeing the situation when the neighbor came there the neighbor declares that bhavra has passed away means the bhavra is dead he declares to all the people 
living around this bhavrao and rama now the stage is dark with a spotlight on bhavrao i'm telling the situation on the stage there is a spotlight on bhavrao bhavrao is still standing there who stands is as inherent him singer inherent him singer means uh you can call it in marathi as kirtankar in the disguise of kirtankar he asks rama to control herself not necessary to weep uh, loudly he tries to condole her he tries to console her but he cannot console her because he is no more he is no more now he cannot touch rama he cannot console rama for his own death now she must to go on alone future is still there for rama and their son nana she has to go alone along nana is there no doubt but each and every person has to live by himself only without any kind of support of any person in the life he hates the very idea but he is helpless he hates the idea that rama has to go alone but he cannot do anything he is helpless he tells rama that he tried to fight death but failed so there is a communication shown on the stage between rama and bhavrao bhavrao wants to convince rama how he dead he is dead he wants her to take nana's help and continue to live on there is a desire after his death in the mind of bhavra that he should take nana's help in their future living and continue to live on and down with the help of nana so this is and the situation we have seen in the first part of the act first of the dread departure remaining part we will see in my next video till then thank you